Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question from one of my favorite question askers again here, actually in response to a question that I just recorded a video on and answered when I told him I recorded the video, he responded back with, with another, yet another interesting idea for a video. So again, this is, this is the gentleman who I would love to interview on here, but he is a little bit camera shy. So maybe someday we'll see. You know who you are, buddy. But uh, you know, I appreciate I appreciate your support. There's a lot of you that really support me, that send emails and encouragement, and are, are really just you know big supporters of what I do. Are always on my side, cheering me on. Even even when I'm you know I'm not I'm not I'm not foolproof. I, I make mistakes, but you know are really su supporting me even when you know, the world is attacking and that happens sometimes, right? You know, as you're, if you put yourself in the public eye, you're going to have people attack and hate on you, right? I've done plenty of videos on, on haters. You can check out, I should probably do a hater playlist. <laughs> All right, I, I know that's coming now, see, cause I'm, but anyway, uh, this is, I thought this was a good topic. So let's see, let's see where to begin here. Okay. So, this is actually a continuation on a video. We'll see, but I don't know what order these are going to end up coming out, so I'm not going to refer to that one. But basically, was, there's this question where I talked about getting a, a well, let's see. I mean, we'll probably get the video. If we can get the video up, that'll be cool, which is this video about essentially, you know, should you work for free? That's what it was, right? So, and a continuation of that in that video. Uh, my favorite question asker, he said that he had worked for a roofing company for like $100 a day. And so, that just to give you some context here. So he says, excuse me, by the way, uh, he, and he points a link to an in inflation index and shows that $100 in 1960 is worth $804.51 in today's money. So pretty good amount of money for working for free, right? To, to learn a trade. Back then I would need a new Ford convertible every year. You could get a, a new one for about $2,400. Or I would buy a new Ford convertible. Wow, so he's buying a, a brand new Ford convertible for $2,400 every year. All right, yeah, I mean, if you're making $804 in a day and a Ford convertible is $2,400, yeah, that's not that expensive, I guess. Wow, that's interesting. Interesting to go back, like, you know, I can't even fathom, you know, the way that things were back then. He said, but in the 1970s, I was in another business and always bought new Cadillacs and Lincolns because it was important to look successful, even if you were not, in my opinion. I especially remember having a new Lincoln Mark and number um, and driving it down uh, to, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to skip the, the location here. Just got to want to identify somebody who doesn't want to be identified and, and try to get a contract for a Ford Motor uh, Company plant. I took two of the executive to lunch in it and I honestly think the car helped close the deal. Okay, so basically he had a Lincoln and he took Ford executives to lunch and that closed the deal essentially, right? So he says, now I have a new Mercedes sitting in my garage. I would prefer a different car, but as a freelance programmer, it's important to look successful. Okay, um, but at, I'm gonna leave off the age, at blank years old, it's much harder to find work. So, you know, I'll say older than 50. Okay, um, so, if you, so if you have not done a video on how you present yourself, clothing, shoes, car, etc., and demeanor, this may be an idea. So, this is a good one. I did a video on should developers get tattoos, which I sort of talked about this. Some people really didn't like that video. I think, you know, I think there's some bias there. I think it's not the message I was saying. I think it's that there's a lot of people that have been hurt <laughs> and bullied by people who have tattoos. And they think that all people that have tattoos are douchebags and that, that, that triggers, you know, I hate to use the word trigger, but it, 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 it brings up some bad emotions for people. And I, I totally understand that. I totally get that. If you're that kind of person, you know, you know, I understand, I get it. But you know, I think the message in there, it was important, but I'm, I'm going to talk about that and to talk about a, a couple of other things here. So essentially, you know, is it true that, you know, like the, like the gentleman said in this, this question or this email that as a freelance programmer, it's important to look successful. So should you have a Mercedes so that you can look successful as a freelance programmer? I think there's some truth to this. I, I don't think that this is a good strategy. 
unless you're already making a lot of money. Now, there's an interesting guy who, who had actually a lot to say about this, who knows way more about this than, than I do, and it's really hard to argue with him because he is such a fascinating person, and he is very, very smart and very, very successful, and that's Neil Patel. I'm gonna try and find the, the link to the blog post. He did this blog post where he basically experimented with buying like a hundred I think it's like a hundred thousand dollar watch like and he talked about having expensive clothes and expensive cars like really expensive items basically got him more business and he tested it and it did and he made more money you know he bought like a rented I forget exactly what it was like a hundred thousand dollar watch and he actually made more money because of that and he could actually tr track that to an ROI and normally if someone told me this I would say BS but because of the source because this is Neil Patel right if you don't know who Neil Patel is he, he is really successful successful, really hard worker, writes excellent, excellent articles about marketing, and he's the real deal, right? I mean, I have I have met, I haven't met him directly, but I've met a lot of his associates, a lot of people that are close to him and that know him really well, and he's legit. So I trust that, that data coming from him. So now I'll give you my opinion on it. So I think that these things obviously have a factor, right? There's this, you know, if you, in psychology, again, I, I'm not too big of a fan of, I've read a lot of these psychology books, but Sometimes, you know, I've talked about this before, but essentially there's this thing called the halo effect, right? And so it essentially is this, if you're good at one thing, right, then people will assume that you're good at other things. So they'll, they'll sort of give you that, you have this halo effect on you. And so this, this can work to your favor, right? And you should use this psychology. There is definitely a true element of the psychology, right? And you should use this to your advantage. Now, is it a good strategy for most of us to go and buy expensive cars or expensive house and expensive clothes, uh, you know, sort of competing with the Joneses, but using this as an excuse to be able to get more business and to be more successful because we'll have the appearance of success. No, right? And there's so many people that are doing that. But, you know, to, to, to be, if you can maximize the value that you get from appearances with minimizing the cost, now, now you're talking. Now you're, now you're talking about something that I can get on board with, right? So I've talked about the idea, I think, before of, you know, you should dress about two levels above. I think I I'm, I'm actually mentioned this. If you haven't signed up for my book already on so Complete Software Developer's Career Guide, I definitely talk about it in there. And you can get that for free. Just, you know, sign up here and then you can get, you know, emails. And I, I'm posting the chapters for free on the blog. If you haven't heard already, it might be out by now and you could actually buy the book. But, you know, it, 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 curious side note. Giving away the book for free is not going to hurt the sales of the book. <laughs> Some of you are worried about that. I'm like, no, it's going to increase the sales of the book. And trust me, because if you read it on the blog and it's for free and you're like, this is really good stuff, uh, then you're going to go buy the book because you don't want to just have to read it all through the blog. You're, you're going to do that. Most people will. And some of you maybe won't. That's fine. I don't care. I still want to give you the information, right? So, okay, rabbit trailing a little bit here, but essentially I think that it's a good idea to dress two levels above, right? So you should not wear the kind of attire that your boss would wear, but what his boss would wear. If you want to climb that corporate ladder, you want to dress the part, okay? So while well, everyone else is wearing flip-flops and shorts, wear your suit, right? Some people are gonna make fun of you and laugh at you. Some people are gonna say you're overdressed. It doesn't matter. Just say, I like to look professional. And that perception is gonna come off that way, right? And if you have a nice watch and you are well groomed and right, do the things that you can do to improve your appearance in order to project that persona and that image that you want. Image is really, really important. So that will actually, because people will assume that you're successful, then so they're gonna they're gonna assume if you look like an executive you're more likely to get promoted to be an executive because you fit the role already. You talk like an executive, you look like an executive, you dress like an executive, right? You act like one. So you're gonna, they're, they're gonna see you in that role. But it's gonna be really, really hard to get elected to the board of a corporation or to be promoted up to an executive level if you're in shorts and flip flops. It just, they just can't see it in, in in their head, right? You see what I'm saying? So it, that can definitely work against you. So 
again, I don't think that you want to invest a huge amount of money in trying to go with just appearances. And appearances, remember, okay, I'm not advocating that you should be uh, all all fluff and, and no substance, right? Just flash. You, but some flash is important, right? And, and, and I'll say that it's not just the clothing, right? It, it, again, I've done, I, I don't even want to point to this video because it's embarrassing. It's an older video of mine on why you should be fit. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll tell you here, which is that when you have a, uh, when you're fit, right? When you look good, when you have a, a good presence, right? And, and people see that you have worked on your body, that you have discipline, that you're impressive, right? It, it, you gain that halo effect again, right? People are more likely to like you, to want to be like you, to want to promote you, to want to have you on their team, right? Those things work to your advantage. I know, right? For definitely, because I've been on both sides of it, right? And so, you know, again, you might say, well, John, sometimes you're, why aren't you, why aren't you practicing this? Why, why are you like doing videos in tank tops and stuff? Well, because frankly, I don't, I don't need to impress. I'm not trying to climb the corporate ladder. I'm not trying to impress expensive clients and, and to make it, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be genuine and authentic. And maybe I should follow someone. Maybe I would be more successful on YouTube if I had a suit on every time. And, and I was like, yeah, you're going to be super successful with, with me. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, right? So maybe, maybe that, that's, maybe that's true. Maybe I could use some of that advice. But anyway, if that is your goal, if you want to climb the corporate ladder, if you want to gain you know, that, that kind of, there, there's definitely, it definitely makes sense. You should at least be doing this, right? You should at least be doing what you can do. So you, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but you should be well-groomed. You should dress well, uh, have some fashion sense and style, right? I mean, if I were really like serious about trying to pursue my career and climb the corporate ladder, I would hire a stylist right? It's not going to be expensive. You just, you know, someone that goes and shops and helps you to set a style, to style your haircut, right? Get these, these are like one-time expenses to tell you how to like groom and maintain your hair, right? So that you can look as sharp as possible, right? And, and get a nice wardrobe. It's not going to cost you a huge, it's a, it's a decent investment, right? You don't have to get all like, you know, really expensive clothes, but you can dress up, right? I would try to get in shape, to as much as I can, right? I would try to improve my uh, my my speaking skills, right? I would try to improve my voice if I could, and to come across a little bit better to people, right? And improve my vocabulary. All of these things, if you combine them together, they're going to create a powerful image, and that powerful image is going to influence how much success that you see, how much how people perceive you, and people make snap judgments, right? When they see you, there's like a thousand different signals that are are firing off in their brain that are, are going to influence. You know, we, we make these kind of judgments, right? And that's that's what our brains are are really good at doing. You could say evolved to, to do is to be able to uh, suss up a situation like that and make a snap judgment and to have it be somewhat accurate, right? Or to, to rely on that. We can't question everything that we that we perceive and we don't even realize. We do this at a, an unconscious or uh, say let's not say unconscious, let's say subconscious level. So there you have it. I think that you can be successful with this, but I'll give, again, the one word of caution I would say is that this is not a blanket license excuse to rack up a bunch of credit card debt saying I'm investing in my future as you buy Armani suits and a car that you can't afford and a house you can't afford saying I need to impress clients. That's, that's not smart, right? Start where you are, right? And then use that to make money and then take some of that money that you've made from dressing up, from playing the part from impressing people in, in having that, that image. Okay. Again, this is, you know, somewhat shallow, but this is how the world works. Let's be real here. Take some of that money and then invest that to bring it up another level. And if you keep on getting returns on your investment, then, then keep on going by all means, but don't just like, you know, you start at the top and say, well, I'm going to rack up a credit card and, and, and that's, it's going to, it's going to be a good investment. So anyway, I think I've beat this horse sufficiently at this point. Uh, if you've got some comments, some ideas, if you've got a story of how, you know, making so, sort of a, a style or, you know, 
charismatic transformation has helped you, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I think you know people could could use advice on this, and and uh, you know getting more perspective and experience would definitely help. So, if you would like to be cool, okay, and you would like to be in high fashion and just up with the, the current trends, I do have one important message for you, which is to click the subscribe button because this subscribe button by subscribing to this channel, you will be essentially putting yourself in with a crowd of people that are high achievers and other people will see that you're subscribed and they'll want to hire you. So if you want to make more money, <laughs> if you want to be more successful in life, become a subscriber. All right, I'll talk to you next time.